It's Chase with Dynatrix Express and today we're taking a look at the 4 inch touchscreen display for the Maximizer 5. In order to understand what we are discussing in this video, you will need to know a few things about the Maximizer 5 Nitrous controller. The Max 5 operates up to four separate stages of nitrous based on either time, RPM, mile an hour, throttle percentage, or boost pressure, and offers many features that cannot be found on any other nitrous controller. The Maximizer 5 includes internal drivers for stage 1 and stage 2 that handle 70 amps each or 140 amps in a single stage mode. Stages 3 and 4 will activate the Nitra system without progression or with the addition of additional drivers available separately. You can have four fully programmable stages of nitrous at 280 amps max. The Maximizer 5 automatically data logs all inputs including the three user defined inputs so you can review important data from multiple previous runs. The Max 5 includes enough eternal memory to store over 100 quarter mile runs before you need to transfer them over to your laptop. These along with many other features make the Maximizer 5 the number one choice in today's fastest nitrous race cars. Now in order to take full advantage of your Maximizer 5 you are going to want to add the optional 4 inch touchscreen display allowing you to view and adjust nitrous tuning parameters on the go without the need for a laptop. Now let's take a closer look at the 4 inch touchscreen display for the Maximizer 5 and see what benefits and features it has to offer. We'll start by powering up the Maximizer touchscreen by plugging the cable into the bottom. Then you will see the splash screen as the system powers up. After booting up, the first screen that's displayed shows a live data readout for all the inputs that the user enabled during the setup of the Maximizer 5. These can be enabled or disabled at any time, but you will have to do that during the input slash configuration screen inside the Max 5 software. The touch screen allows you to have three separate tunes saved and you can quickly switch between the three tunes on the default screen. Also worth noting, if the Max 5 is powered down, it will always default back to tune number 1. Pressing the menu button will take you to the main menu. On the main menu screen, we have the following options. Adjust tune, which will give full control over the ramp on each enabled output. We will go over this in more detail shortly. Backlight. In this menu, you can brighten or darken the touchscreen for your liking. Flip display will rotate the screen 180 degrees. About will tell you what version of the firmware you are using. You will have to be on a firmware that is compatible with the firmware on the Max 5 or you will see an error and you will have to update the firmware. Which is simple to do and we have a video available on our YouTube channel showing just how to do so. Update is used to update the firmware when you need it just as mentioned. Let's go take a closer look at the features inside the adjust tune table. When you select the adjust tune table, you will only be adjusting the tune for the selected tune, which we have set as tune number one. Notice the red output marker in the top center of the screen. This is the output you are adjusting the ramp for. If you want to adjust the ramp for output two, all you have to do is push the arrow to the right and you will see output two is now active and any changes made will be put to output two. But for this demonstration, we're going to go back to output 1 by pushing the left arrow and make all the changes in this output. As you can see, the two buttons in the bottom right of the screen will help you tune your ramp. The top one will reset it to a straight line between the start dot and the final dot on your ramp. The bottom one will smooth out the ramp if you have a ramp with peaks and valleys. And the more you press it, the more it smooths the ramp out. You can make adjustments to the amount of nitrous flow for any of the 11 points on the ramp by simply dragging the dot up or down. 0% nitrous flow would be at the bottom and 100% nitrous flow would be at the top. You can adjust the activation delay by selecting the 0 second button at the bottom left corner of the screen. And adding time to the start point. Adding point 20 for example will delay the activation by 0.2 seconds. Adjusting on the final time will change the length of the ramp, the time it takes for the ramp from go to the first dot to the last dot on the graph. Keep in mind, this is a time-based ramp and if we have an RPM or boost-based ramp, then you'd be changing the start and final RPM or boost levels instead of making a time adjustment. 
A couple of features and benefits that the Maximizer 5 touchscreen has to offer is that you can save up to three tunes and they can easily be adjusted from the screen. You can make a change to the ramp by dragging the dots up or down. It monitors all of the inputs that the Maximizer 5 has. You can set and change the ramp length for each of the three save tunes. I'll hear from the driver's seat in a matter of seconds. If you have a Maximizer 5, the touchscreen is definitely a must have. For more information on the touchscreen display for the Maximizer 5 or the Maximizer 5 itself, please call 1-888-GOFAST1 or go to nitrousexpress.com. And as always, thank you for choosing Nitrous Express.